Hello friends and welcome to our raccoon story time. I am Miss Christine and I'm so glad you're here to join me today. Today we're going to read some books about raccoons, do a couple of rhymes about raccoons, and then we're going to make an amazing raccoon felt painting that you can hang up in your house. Is everybody ready? Make sure you have your eyes on the screen, make sure you have your ears open, and we are going to start with our first book called The Bear Who Shared. Norris was wise. And being a wise bear, Norris knew that porridges were the best fruit of all. So wise Norris waited under the porridge tree, for he knew something special would happen. But Norris wasn't the only one who loved porridges. Tulip and Violet loved them too. They clambered down closer to the porridge and gazed at it. It looked delicious. Wise Norris watched and waited. Tulip and Violet sniffed the porridge. It smelled of honey and sunny days. And Norris just waited. Tulip and Violet listened to the porridge but it didn't make a sound. Tulip and Violet hugged the porridge. It felt as soft as cotton candy. And all the while, Wise Norris just waited. Tulip and Violet were just about to have a little lick of the porridge when... Uh-oh! Womp! Norris's wait was over. The porridge was his. But what about Tulip and Violet? Well, Norris was wise and he was also kind. So he shared the delicious, sun-kissed, soft as cotton candy porridge with Violet and with Tulip too. And Norris was right, being wise. He was usually right. A special thing had happened under the porridge tree. Norris had two new friends, and from then on, they shared everything. The end. Great listening, everyone. Now I want everybody to warm up your fingers a little bit. We're going to do five little raccoons. So can you show me your raccoons? Here are mine. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody ready? One little raccoon. Show me one. Head was looking for things to do. And along came another one. And then there were two. Two curious raccoons trying so hard to see. Along came another one. And then there were three. Three little clever raccoons trying to open a door. Along came another one. And then there were four. Four little raccoons happy and glad to be alive. Along came another one, and then there were five. Five little raccoons, <sighs> as tired as can be, looked up for a place to rest and climbed up a tree. Good job, everybody! Is everybody ready for another story? We are going to do a story called Taking Care of Mama. Everybody ready? Mama is sick. What should we do? The thermometer reads 102. Papa called the doctor and the doctor said, please tell Mama to stay in bed. Bed, said Mama, but there's work to do. You rest, Mama. We'll take care of you. I might sleep for a few minutes.
did it. So. Papa cooks breakfast. We watch baby Mabel. It is so much work getting food on the table. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Shh. Is Mama better or worse? You be the doctor. I'll be the nurse. When lunchtime comes, we make up a tray. Grilled cheese cut in squares. Mama likes it that way. Oh, tiptoe, shh. Mom is feeling better. She wants to get up, but we won't let her. Mabel takes a nap, and Papa, he does too. We pick carrots for tonight's veggie stew. The stew tastes good. It should be a success. But then we notice, oh, the house, it's a mess. There's no time to waste. We don't have all day. If we don't clean up, what will Mama say? I'm really much better, Mama calls down. <sighs> we better hurry, Papa says with a frown. Tiptoe, tiptoe, shh, Mama's at the door. We've washed the last plate. We've swept up the floor. My goodness, my dears, Mama says with a grin. You don't need me at all. It's as neat as a pin. Oh no, we all say as we slurp up our stew. It's really not the same around the house without you. The end. I hope everybody likes that one. Next, we're gonna do a song. This is called Raccoon in a Tree, and we are going to sing it to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So. First, we're gonna make some climbing motions like this, okay? And then we're gonna put circles around our eyes like the mask that raccoons wear, okay? Just like that. And then we're gonna stretch our hands over our heads like we are a tree, okay? Is everybody ready? All right, here we go. Raccoon, raccoon climbs a tree wears a mask so he can't see hiding there he can't fool me what's he doing in that tree raccoon raccoon climbs a tree wears a mask you can't fool me good job everybody is everybody ready for our last book our last book is called Raccoon Tune. Moonlight, June night, just right for raccoon night. Not too dark, not too bright. As we look for treats, out we creep while people sleep. Soon we hope to find a heap of cheese and breadcrumbs piled deep or codfish bones and beets. Deep in bins we always forage, clanking tins we find in storage, apple skins and maple porridge, broccoli and sweets. Ash cans, trash cans, how we love to crash cans, mash and smash and bash cans, We'll get that lid to pop. We have to throw it at the fence. People should have common sense. These, wo these wouldn't be so many dents if they'd leave off the top. This lid is on a little tight. We'll have to put up quite a fight. We pull and pull with all our might, but nothing gives until we grab the can and try to spin it. The top comes off. Look what's in it. Oh no, it's rolling down the hill. We thought we saw some cake with cream. Or was that just a hungry great dream? It's rolling fast and gathering steam. We run, we dash, a clunk, a splash. Oh, our tasty trash has fallen in the stream. Dive right in and get it, quick. 
teamwork ought to do the trick. Poke a handle, poke a stick. At last, we pull it out. Oh, my whiskers, how delish. This can is full of flopping fish. A super duper supper dish. We'll have a feast of trout. Moonlight, June night, just right for raccoon night. Not too dark, not too bright. When we are dining out. The end. I hope everybody enjoyed our story time, and now we are going to do our craft, if you will join me behind the table. Hello again, everybody. It is time for us to do our raccoon uh, felt craft. Now, in your kit, we're just gonna go over everything that you should have. You should have all of these felt pieces. Uh, just quickly, we have a head, a body, um, the contrasting color on the body, tail, the rings for the tail, eyes and ears. We have uh, some facial features here, some light gray and some black and a nose. Uh, you're also gonna have some cotton balls in your kit, some paint and some stars. What you're going to need from home is some glue. Uh, a stick of glue would be fine or if you have just regular Elmer's glue, that's okay too. And you can have a black marker like a Sharpie or any type of black marker from home. Also in your kit, the last thing you should have is a canvas like this, okay? So the first thing you are going to do, and I am going to be painting on this piece of paper instead of wasting a canvas, but you will be doing it on your canvas. You're gonna take your cotton ball and dip it in your paint. You're gonna have way more paint than you need. And you're just gonna start putting it on your canvas just like this. Now, the more paint you put on your canvas, the darker your canvas is gonna be. The idea is that we want this to look like a night sky, so you can make it as light or as dark as you want. And you can keep doing that until, as you can see, your canvas looks something like this, okay? You're going to have to wait until it dries. Uh, it doesn't take that long. It will probably dry, depending on how thick you make the paint, it could probably dry within an hour or so. so while you are waiting for that to dry, you can put together your felt raccoon or you can put it all together when the canvas is dry. So the first thing we're going to do, you would take your glue, but right now I'm just going to assemble this to show you. You're going to have your body and you're gonna put it right in the center here. And then you have your tail. And I would tuck your tail right under the body so it looks something like that. Okay, now remember, you're gluing all of this down when you do it so it stays onto the canvas. Then you're gonna have your contrasting piece right here for the belly of your raccoon. And on your tail, you're gonna have your raccoon ring tail stripes, which are so necessary when you are making a raccoon and a little one for the top. All right, so once you've done the body and the tail, you can put your head on top of your raccoon. You can make it straight if you like, but I kind of like to put it at a little bit of an angle like this. And then you're gonna have your contrasting pieces. This piece put right at the edge of your raccoon's face like this right here. And then the second one is going to go at the other edge so it looks just like that. After that, you're gonna put these black parts on here right one here and put this edge right at the edge of that contrasting gray and do the same thing on the other side just like that and it's starting to look like a raccoon then you're going to take your ears put one in here and remember again you're gluing all this down while you're doing it i'm going to put one in here and one right in there like that you can take your googly eyes okay uh these need to be glued down as well. And you're gonna glue one on each side, just like that. Now your raccoon is almost done. He needs a couple of more things. Your last piece is a nose, which is going to go right in the middle here. And then you're going to take your black marker or your Sharpie, and you're going to draw a mouth just like this on your raccoon. And a little smile. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stars and you can use as many as you like. And since it's a night sky, you're gonna put some stars in the sky 
So your raccoon can look up at the stars while he's foraging for his food and his dinner. Okay, so thank you again for joining us for our, uh, our craft and our story time. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoy your raccoon felt painting. Have a wonderful day, friends.